Now, sometimes we want to use the data that we've looked up to construct something. So in this case, we're going to construct a sentence, and we're going to use the join command to do that. So I'm going to turn uh, this into a sentence. I'll say, Elizabeth's favorite color is green. And so to do that, uh, we could even have it say their, her first and second name. So let's go into this cell. Uh, up here, I'm going to put um, favorite color is. Oh, I don't need the uppercase. Color is. Let's push return. Okay, so let's learn how to the join function works. The join function joins up different things. So it could be different items in a cell, different parts of a sentence. It could be lots of different things that you might need to take that are in multiple cells and join them together. And it joins them together using a delimiter. And what that means is it puts something between each item. So that could be a space, it could be a dash, it could be an underscore. Um, in this case, because we're building a sentence, our delimiter will be a space. So I'll just push the open quote, space, close quote. All right, next it wants the value of our array one. So basically what that's asking for is we just need to put every cell we want in here. So we want it to say Elizabeth Schmidt and now we'll have an apostrophe S. So I'll say open quote, and then I'll do apostrophe S. And then we want it to say favorite color is, which is up here in cell H1. And then we want it to say green, which is in cell D5. I'll close my bracket, and it should build that sentence. Elizabeth Schmidt's favorite color is green. Now let's copy it down. So I'm gonna copy what's in this cell, Command C, and I'm gonna go ahead and paste it here. But it doesn't quite work. It just says Cleo Sims pink. So it's partially working, but it's not getting the favorite color is anymore. And let's look at why. Because I copied it and pasted it, it's incrementing. It was grabbing that sentence from H1. Now it's grabbing it from H2. We want it to grab it from H1. So what we do is we're going to delete that and go back and modify our original formula before we copy it. If we don't want it to increment either the column or the row, we can put a dollar sign in front of these things like this. And now what that means is it always is going to take from column H, row 1. So let's copy it down now. Command C. I'll go ahead and paste and now it's working. I can highlight the rest of them. Command V to put them in, and we can see Fiona Singer's favorite color is gray. Camilla Sothendoon's favorite color is pink. And we've got all the data joined up using the join function. So that's how you use VLOOKUP to get data, and that's how you use join to join up data.